All forms of motorsports have the powerhouse teams that everyone remembers off the top of their head. Chick Benassi Racing, Hendrick Motorsports, Scuderia Ferrari, Team Penske, Don Schumacher Racing, and John Forrest Racing, just to name a few. But for anyone who watched NHRA in the 2000s and early 2010s, one team stands out as being a powerhouse contender in the Nitro category before disappearing without a trace. This is the story of the rise and fall of Alan Johnson Racing, Alan Nobby Racing. Alan Abbey Racing's birth was a merge between the team with Alan Johnson Racing in the winter of 2008. Funded by Khalid bin Hamad Altani, Prince Qatar, looking to boost the state of Qatar's image in drag racing, would fund an estimated $10 million into the team, forming Alan Johnson Racing, Alan Abbey Racing. The team announced they would field the 2009 season with a top fuel dragster piloted by Larry Dixon, who had bought out the last year of his contract with Don Ferdinand Racing, whom he had won two NHRA top fuel championships. Alongside of piloting the team's funny car would be Dale Worship, who followed Alan Johnson in the merger. In the season of 2009, they would hit the ground running, sporting a beautiful maroon top fuel in the funny car dragster, with little to no sponsor reading Alan Nabi on the side when translated meeting Go Team Maroon. Both of which had KH written on it to honor the royal family, K standing for Khalid and H standing for Hamad. In that season, Larry Dixon would start off poorly, not qualifying for the season opener of Pomona. He would turn the season around by making nine final round appearances and scoring five national event wins, finishing runner up in the countdown to longtime rival Tony Schumacher. Meanwhile, Del Worsley would win three funny card national events, rounding out seventh in the standings. In 2010, Alan Nobby would announce they would extend their partnership to a new category of the NHRA Drag Racing Series, this time in a pro-stock motorcycle ring with Matt Smith who had won the title in 2007. They would follow up that season showing strides of improvement from their sophomore season with Larry Dixon kicking off the year winning the Winter Nationals. He would go on to dominate the season winning a total of 10 national events including the Mac Tools US Nationals in Indianapolis and route to his third and final top field championship of his career beating Schumacher, who had lost to the year prior. Matt Smith would go on to capture two national event wins at the Four Wide Nationals in Charlotte and the Summit Racing Point Equipment NHRA Nationals in Norwalk, Ohio. Del Boris would struggle during the 2010 season, not scoring any national event wins and finishing sixth in the countdown. In 2011, the team would announce a shakeup of its lineup, opting to step out of Funny Car to field a second top field dragster. The driver lineup would not change, however, as Dell Worsham would be promoted to the top field category alongside teammate and reigning champion Larry Dixon. It would prove to be a winning combination as Dell Worsham would find his way to victory lane, taking home eight Wallys into the season and claiming his first NHRA top field championship. Larry Dixon would win two national events, winding up fifth at the end. But shockingly in mid-June, Matt Smith, who had just won his first national event win of the season in Englishtown, would announce that Alan Nobby was cutting sponsorship effective immediately, putting his 2011 campaign in jeopardy. This would only be a sign of things to come. 2012 would start with a big headline as reigning champion Del Worsham opted to retire from racing the Alan Nobby top field drag so to step into a crew chief role at Coletta Motorsports for Alexis DeGiorgio. Larry Dixon would also leave Alan Nobby, citing this because of personal team matters. This would mean there would be a new driver piloting the Alan Nobby AJR Top Fuel Dragsters. Those would be Sean Langdon switching from Morgan Lucas Racing and Dubai native Khalid Al Belushi, who at the time joining the team was a 2011 Pro Mod and the Arabian Drag Racing League Pro Mod Champion. The team went on to win only two national events, one driver piece, and Sean Langdon finishing fourth in the countdown and Khalid Al Belushi failing to qualify. 
2013 had proved that the struggles of the 2012 season were only a fluke, and it was business as usual kicking off the season the same way they did in 2010, with Sean Langdon capturing the season opener of Pomona. Kicking off what would end up being the start of the campaign to the World Finals, with seven national events, including another U.S. Nationals win for the team, and their third top field title in three of the last four years. Khalid would score his second career top field national event that year, rounding the season eighth in the countdown. This would be the last time the team would win a top field championship. 2014 would prove to be another trying year for the team. Sean Langdon would back up his title defense with a single national event win, finishing fourth in the standings. Meanwhile, Khalid would score two national event wins, including winning the Winter Nationals, beating Tony Schumacher, rounding the season again in eight. The 2015 season would have shocking headlines before the haulers arrived to Pomona. In early January, it is announced that Allen Ivy Racing would terminate all funding in North America without giving a reason, leaving the Paddock and fans searching for answers on what could have happened, and Allen Johnson Racing looking for funding as Al Tani, who had pumped more than $50 million in sponsorship to the team, suddenly vanished. Alan Johns reported to the LA Times saying Al Tani had terminated funding and a move was completely unexpected. Al Belushi would leave the team as Langdon and Johns would find the money to fund a single entry for the Winter Nationals. It was later revealed that the sponsorship being pumped into the team was not from Sheik Khalid but the state of guitar itself. So when Guitar cut Khalid's funds off, it also cut the sponsorship to Alan Nabi. It was later rumored that the drop in oil prices could have been the cause for the loss of funding, but Alan Johns would quickly discount that statement saying Al Tani never said anything about it. The departure of Alan Nabi fell majorly to multiple teams. Alan Johnson Racing would cease operations in mid-September, citing obvious financial reasons. Late Abolushi would go back to the Pro Mod Division and is currently racing with Ball Rain 1 Racing. Sean Langdon finds himself back in the funny car category for a couple years before finding himself back in the top fuel range with Collider Motorsports and still races today, having won the U.S. Nationals this past season. As for Alan Nabi Racing, they still exist as an aftermarket performance parts company while still having some sponsorship with an NHRA's Pro Stock teams. Just like that, one of the most dominant teams in the early 2010s suddenly end. The team would end their career with 42 wins in a span of 6 seasons, including 3 national top field championships and 2 US national wins, proving just how crazy the world of professional drag racing can be. I hope you enjoyed the video. I understand there was a lot of issues in the last one and I appreciate the critiques and comments that I received from it. I hope this one can show that I'm trying to make better strides in the content that I make and hopefully this can prove that and hopefully I'm able to make some more videos down the line. But with my ongoing career that I'm trying to pursue and my ongoing jobs I have right now, it is really up to whenever I have time and what ideas I have that might not already be taken by the time I decide to make them. It's really just kind of a crapshoot on where it can happen. If you want to see if I am working on videos though, you can go follow my social media pages which I'll provide in the end credits or down in the bio. Or just make sure to subscribe, comment, like, do whatever, help get this video some views and hopefully that can motivate me enough to want to actually complete some more videos down the line. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great 2021.